Hello everyone. You probably seen a few of my videos. The New World Translation of the Holy Scripture 2013 Bible. But there is something that was in in the last Bible that I grew up with. Something I found that puzzled me that I could not understand and today the light got brighter. Can you believe that? The light got brighter for me. And I would love to share this with you to prove 100% without a doubt Jehovah Witnesses Bibles is a flawed and a lie. If you're a non-witness or ex-Jehovah Witness or a Jehovah Witness, what I will show you is not even a Bible scriptures. You will believe what I'm going to show you is 100% truth. What you're looking at, this is where I found my uh, mistake. Look at the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Okay, but the Bible scholars, they say that uh, Moses wrote these books. And Almost at the end of Deuteronomy, it mentioned that Moses was going to die. And the book of Joshua is when God told him that Moses has died and now Joshua was supposed to uh, lead the people over the river so they could enter into the promised land okay you notice all these other books Ju judges Ruth, samuel first kings second kings all these here is almost all in order but the one i wanted to bring out is the book of job now this one was a mystery to me because and I'm going to show you that just in a few seconds. It made no sense to me the order of Job. I thought when I was learning the Bible from Jehovah's Witnesses the book of Job was supposed to have been up here somewhere between, I'm going to guess, Leviticus and Numbers. Y'all may fi try and figure, that don't make no sense. Because there was only five books of Moses. And all of them is in order. Yes, that is true. But Jehovah Witnesses' teaching, which I'm going to flip to the, another page on the back of the Bible, in and all this is from their new Bible. Book of Job, what they show that was it was written by Moses. And I'm gonna show that to you. Genesis, Moses, Exodus, Moses, Leviticus, Moses, Numbers, no, Moses, Deuteronomy, Moses. Those just those are the five books Moses wrote. When he died, there was no other books that he wrote. But when you go all the way down to Job, whoa, Moses! When he wrote the book, it was in the wilderness. So how did Moses wrote a sixth book 
And by the Bible, all the books that Moses wrote was in order. So if there was a book of Job that he wrote, would it be somewhere underneath Genesis or Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers? Uh, well, it couldn't be Deuteronomy because Deuteronomy was his last book. So it would ha Job would have to be between Numbers and Deuteronomy or Leviticus and Numbers. So, this is the biggest flaw to prove. No shadow of doubt, Moses was not the author of Job. Because when I was trying to figure out the author of Job, nobody even knows the true author. They even think this Job and the book of Job was written, could have been before Jerusalem fell to the Babylonians. Someone, somewhere in that area, period of time. And that's probably the reason why it was probably put in this place by Bible scholars. Because they think uh, it was written. But they never, never put down Moses as the author of Job. That is Jehovah Witnesses' false teaching, not knowing that no one knew the author of Job. It was not Moses. Otherwise, Moses would have written six books. And you see, there's only five books that Moses wrote. People, this is another proof that I found in their Bible. And I have another video on about 1914, which I'm going to make to prove, shadow no doubt, just using the Bible, that Jesus... Saw Satan got cast out of heaven before he came to earth. And another scripture in the Hebrew scriptures to prove that Satan was already cast out of heaven before Jesus came to earth. And you have to see the video. But there was only five books that Moses wrote. Not sits. Thank you. And I hope this opened your eyes 100%. No doubt. Moses was not the author of Job.